Finishing up exponential and logarithmic equations, the last thing that we need to do is we need to talk about how this can actually be applied to real life setting. And to answer that question, um, we actually just need to go back to the first video. So in the first video, I presented you with an application that I did not finish. And so that application looked like this here. A couple invest $8,000 in a bank account. Um, it's compounded monthly at 4.5%. And so we came up with a formula for how much money we can earn dependent upon time. And then we asked the question, how much time will it take for our investment to double? And then we were just kind of stuck at that because we could not figure out how to solve this application here without solving equations. And now we can actually go ahead and finish this. So let's set it up one more time just to review it in case it's not on the top of your head. We have the formula is the principal times one plus our rate over the number of times it's compounded to the n and then t represents time. And so in this example, we had $8,000 that was initially invested, one plus our rate of 0.045 if I convert it to a decimal, divided by 12 because it's compounded monthly to the 12t. And then if we were to simplify the inside, that's 1.00375 to the 12t. And so that was the formula that we came up with. I don't think I simplified it in the first video, and so now here is the simplified version, and that's me just simplifying the inside here. Now, how much time will it take for their investment to double? Well, if we want to double $8,000, of course, that's going to give us $16,000. So we set it equal to $16,000, and then we just have the right-hand side as exactly the same. Now, we know if we were to solve this, the very first thing that we want to do is divide by the number out in front to simplify it, and that gives us 2. And so that should be a very obvious step. If we want our amount to double, then it's just going to equal 2, or 2 times the amount. So that's something that we're going to use to our advantage here in a second. Anytime we want our amount to double, we're basically going to throw away our actual values and just set our equation equal to 2. All right, now how do we go about solving this? Well, we see we have t in the exponent, so how do we get that t out of the exponent? Well, we can think about it two ways. We can either think about converting it into logarithmic form, or we can think about taking log of both sides, and either one of them is going to give us the exact same answer. So I'm going to just convert this into logarithmic form, and so this is log base of 1.00375, of 2 is equal to 12t. So I just converted it into exponential form into logarithmic form. And we've seen that numerous times by now, so that should be no big deal. All right, now if we really want to solve for t, we just divide by 12. And so then this gives us the answer that t is equal to log base 1.00375 of 2, all divided by 12. Now, we want an actual time amount here. How many years is it going to take to double? So even though this is a precise, exact answer, that doesn't actually answer our overall question. We're going to need an estimated answer. So that means we're going to need to type this in our calculator. Unfortunately, the calculator does not know how to interpret it when our base is different than base 10 or base E, and so that means I need to do the change of base formula. So that will give me log of 2 divided by log of 1.00375, and technically that is still all over 12. But that gives us a complex fraction, or a fraction inside a fraction. So let's think about how we can simplify that. If I have a fraction within a fraction, what I do is I just multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm just going to multiply my top fraction by the reciprocal of 12 over 1, which gives me 1 over 12. 
Or if I just do some fraction multiplication here, I can just put 12 in the denominator. And so I have t is equal to log of 2 divided by 12 times log of 1.00375. So now if I want my approximate value, now I have something that I can type into my calculator. So I have my calculator, so all I need to do is type it in. Log of 2 divided by, I'm going to put the whole denominator in parentheses, so I know that it's divided by the whole thing. 12 times log of 1.00375. So close my log, close my denominator, and that gives me that t is approximately equal to 15.43. So that tells us that t is approximately 15.4 years. So it's going to take them a little under 15 and a half years for their investment to double with these qualifications, compounded monthly and 4.5%. So now you see an actual application of why we need exponential and logarithmic functions and why we need to figure out how to be able to solve their equations. So what else could we possibly need exponential or logarithmic equations for? I actually reviewed this in a different video, and so let me just review these again, and we're going to see some more examples of these. Um, we just did an example of the growth of an investment, so that one we've taken care of. Another way that you might see exponential functions is defined as population growth, and so if it has an application set up as to how many people are we going to have in so many years or whatnot, that would be another reason. We talked about the temperature of a cup of coffee, and then what else we're going to be talking about here in a little bit is the mass of a radioactive substance. So if we want to see how old something is, we use carbon-14 dating, and so this is going to be an example that we'll see here in a second. Okay, let's talk about some other formulas here and how we can use these formulas to our advantage. And so another formula that we can deduce here is the growth rate and doubling time. And they are related by, and I have left this blank because we can actually figure this out on our own. So if we know something is compounded continuously, then we know the formula that comes with that is A is equal to P times e to the rt, principal times our natural exponent to the rate to the time. Well, if we want it to double, then just like we saw in the last example, we don't really need our initial investment. We don't really need our outcome of our investment because we know that is just going to equal to 2. That's our doubling time. So this is 2 equals e to the rt. Well, if I want to solve this for either r or t, we know that we can solve this equation by taking natural log of both sides because natural log is going to cancel out this e on our right-hand side. So that gives us natural log of 2 is equal to r t. And this is one of our doubling formulas. Now, sometimes we see the variable as r, and sometimes we see the variable as k. So I can write this as natural log of 2 is equal to k. So that's the rate. And then I'm going to use capital T because capital T represents doubling time. So this is a formula that can relate our growth rate, k, and our doubling time of capital T. If I want either of these specifically, I could solve for them very easily. Easily. So if I wanted to solve for k, I could just divide by t. And so that tells me that k is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by t. Or if I wanted to solve for t, I could very easily divide by k. And so that gives me that capital T, or doubling time, is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by our growth rate. And so we have our basic formula here, or we can manipulate it to solve for exactly what we want to solve for. So let's look at that. 
So, the population of Kenya is now doubling every 25.8 years. What is the exponential growth rate? Well, in this one, we want to know the rate. So, we would be solving for the k portion of this formula. And that was the portion where it was natural log of 2 divided by t. And so, all I have to do is take natural log of 2 divided by my t, which in this case is 25.8. And so if I were to plug that into my calculator, natural log of 2 divided by 25.8, that gives me 0 0.026866, or if I round it to three decimal places, 0 0.027. And so my rate, is 0 0.027 or 2.7%, whichever one is more comfortable for you. A different question that's basically asking the same thing is how quickly will money double if it's invested at an annual interest rate of 6.5% compounded continuously? Well, this one, it wants to know how quick or it wants to know time. So the time version of that is natural log of 2 divided by k. So all I need to do then is plug in our k value in decimal format, and then plug that into our calculator. So natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.065. And so it's going to take me approximately 10.66 years to double. And so once we have our doubling formulas here, it becomes very easy to solve for them. I have one more type of application, which is exponential growth and exponential decay, or using those radioactive substance or carbon-14 data. And so I'll do that one here in the next video.